Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL training session with Learn at No Star. Today we are going to talk about the cross apply operator in SQL. The cross apply operator is similar to the inner join in many ways, but it has some distinct features that makes it very useful in certain scenarios. So let's take a look. So first let's take a look at how the cross apply operator is similar to inner join. So I'm going to be working with two tables, department and employees. In the department table, I've got just three departments. So one, two, and three, three department IDs. Then in the employee table, I've got 13 rows and the employees belonging to different departments. You can also see that there's a department number five, which is not present in a department table and so on. So I'm now going to make an inner join between the employees and the department table and I'm going to select those employees which for which the department ID exists in the department table. So I'm going to write a new query and I'm going to use the inner join for this function. So I'm just simply going to say that select the employee ID and the department ID from the employees table. So employees and let's give it an alias of EMP and define the department ID as EMP and then I'm going to perform an inner join with the department table on EMP dot department ID is equal to DPT dot department ID. Now if I execute this query I'm going to get six rows and if you observe the department IDs are only two and three which exist in the department table. So the five has been eliminated and this is as the inner join should be working. Now I'm going to copy the same query and use the cross apply operator to perform the same uh, requirement. So instead of the inner join over here, I'm going to say cross apply. And when you're using cross apply, you do not use the on word you have to say where employee or department id is equal to department or department id and if i execute this you will see that i've got the same six rows which the department ids uh, with the department ids as two and three so the functionality here is very similar to inner join when the functionality is similar to inner join the question will come to our mind that why do we need to use a cross apply operator now as i mentioned earlier there are certain characteristics of cross apply operator which make it useful in certain scenarios now we are going to take the first example in so in this example, we are going to find out the two most recently hired employees for each department. Now, if I state this requirement and you want to implement this, what would come to your mind is that we might use a CTE kind of construct to find this out. So we can use the rank or the row number to find out the rank and then we can uh, select the top two employees for each department. So that can be done as well, but we can easily use the cross apply operator here to perform the same requirement. So let's see how we can do this using cross apply. So here I'm just writing the department query. I'm going to select everything from the department table, let's say, and uh, then I'm going to select everything from the employee table. Now this is going to be a kind of a sub query that I'm going to make. So I'm here going to say from department and then I'm going to use the cross apply operator over here then i'm going to frame my sub query for selecting the top two in each department so select top two star from employees now here you can reference to the outer table from within the sub query so what we can do is where employees dot department id is equal to department dot department id and then we can use an order by clause here order by hire day and since we want the most recently hired so we are going to order by in a descending manner and just close the bracket and give an alias to this table or subquery that we have written. So this is a simple query that you can easily frame using the cross apply. And what is the advantage over here is that in this query, the subquery that we have written is able to reference the outer table. Now cross apply operator works by evaluating 
each row from the first table so this is your primary table and across this it is going to evaluate each row from the secondary table that you have generated so for each department id it is going to go to this subquery evaluate the output of this subquery for each department id and wherever it finds the matches a matching record it is going to output it. so uh, almost similar to the inner join okay execute the whole query and you will see that you have got the most recently hired employees in department 2 and department 3 which are the two departments in our table so you can see by looking at their hire dates that these are the two most recently hired employees now you can achieve the same by using a cte that would be a little more complicated to frame and to write but the same can be achieved using a cte so here you can see I've already defined a CTE. So you can see that we have defined a CTE called AMP. And here we are using the row number function. We have ordered by the higher date. And then we are just calculating uh, the rank and restricting the rank to less than equal to 2 to achieve the same objective. So this can be done as well. This is just one application of cross-apply, not really the main application of cross-apply because the same can be achieved using the CTE. The performance actually depends. It might vary based on certain scenarios. Now, coming back to this example where we have used the subquery using the cross-apply for finding the top two. Now, do you think that we can achieve the same if we just replace the cross-apply by inner join here? Let's see what happens. So, what we are going to do here is, I'm just going to copy this query again. And I'm just going to replace the cross-apply by an inner join here. And let's execute this query and see if we get the same results. So the first thing that you will observe is that there will be a syntax error because here you have used the inner join. You cannot really reference an outer table within your subquery. So what you have to do here is you have to bring this where statement outside. So let's just cut it here and you have to paste it here. Now, another modification that you need to make is that you cannot be using a where clause because you have defined an inner join. So you need to uh, define a condition for the inner join, which is defined using the on keyword. So you have to say on. Now, again, this employees table is the inner table from the subquery. The subquery, we have given the alias EMP. So you have to go and replace this with EMP over here. So now this is going to be a query. Now, if we try to execute this, what is going to happen is it is just going to return the top two or the most recently hired two employees irrespective of which department they belong to so it is going to perform the action on the whole table instead of performing the action on a particular category like department wise that the cross apply operator helped us to perform so if you try to frame the same query using the inner join it is not going to work for each department the same as we saw can be done using a cde but if you simply try to frame the same query as you frame for cross apply then it is not going to work for inner join in this scenario so the real advantage of cross apply lies in using it with a table valued function so when you have a table valued function a table valued function is nothing but a user defined function that returns a table as its output so when you have a table valued function you cannot simply use a join operator it is not going to work with a join operator so this is the main scenario where the cross apply operator or any other apply operator is to be used so let's quickly create a table valued user defined function. So our requirement is going to be to find out the employees uh, who have been hired within 14 days uh, of uh, a particular date that we are going to pass as a parameter. So we are going to pass a parameter to this function and then in the output we are going to get all the employees who have been hired within the last 14 days of that particular date. So if you write a simple select statement, what we are trying to achieve here is something like we are going to say select employee dot full name and employee dot department id probably okay from employees table where so where higher date is less than equal to and then we are going to use the date add function so the interval we are going to add in days and we are going to go back 14 days from the date that we are going to pass here so minus 14 and what is the date that we are passing is at 
check date and here we'll use between high date between minus 14 of check date and at check date employee dot department id is equal to add department id which is another parameter that we are passing i'm sorry this has to be an and over here so simply execute this to create this function and you can get that message that command has been completed successfully which means the function has been created so let me write a select statement and select the department id and department name from the department table and now i'm going to use the cross apply on that function so function latest hired ems and we are now we are going to pass the parameters to that so the first parameter is a date so 2019-0901 is the date i'm going to pass and the department id so the department id we are going to pass from the department table so department dot department id need to add a few more parameters which we want to collect from the function so here i'm going to give it an alias of fn for the function and what i want from the function is the employee full name so that is what i'm going to get and now if i execute this you will see that there's one record that we have got in the output so, so if i take a look at the data from the employees table for department id 2 i'll see that there's this one employee who fulfills that criteria so julia ford and going back to our query that is what we have got in the output so this works with the table valued function whereas with an inner join you would not be able to achieve this so, so another interesting application of cross apply is when you want to create kind of a series of ids so let's say you have the department id and now you want to create sub department ids having values one two three four for each department id so how you can achieve this simply using the cross apply is so let's say select department id from department cross apply and then we can say we can put those values so values let's say we want to put the values of one two three and four and we have to say we have to give it a column name so let's call it sub department id and here let's just select this column from here So what is going to happen when I execute this query is that for each department you can see that there's a sub department id being generated and it has been sub generated as separate rows so it is easy to do these kind of uh, functionality easy to implement this kind of functionality with cross apply as well so these are the various scenarios in which a cross apply operator can be used instead of the join operator or in a similar fashion to the join operator i hope that this video was useful and if it was then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also like comment and share this video we'll be posting many more videos soon thanks a lot for watching goodbye